Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan from Mullingar in Mullingar, promoting what's good and great about our town, our people, and our business. And today, our show at 12 o'clock is called The 12 Bongs. So, do you know what? We're going to uh, start off our show with 12 Bongs. Bong, 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 bong. Marianne, give me f- tw- six bongs, please. Bong, bong, bong. Bong, bong, bong. <laughs> Amazing bong. She was practicing these the whole way on the way down from Dublin. So our show is coming to you in association with uh, Bricks for Kids, Westmead and Russ Common. And uh, we'd like to thank um, who introduced the show this morning. Uh, I'm not too sure. Oh, it was our good friends in the forest in Mullamead Forest. And uh, it was our king. Oh, I didn't write it down, but not to worry. It's our good friends from Mullock Mead Forest and uh, Mrs. K. Oh, her husband was on last week. Anyway, we get in a few minutes. Now we have um, Alex Small introduced the show from, or Alex Small was in the Tullamore show or the Mullingar show not too long ago. And uh, it's going to be back again this year. So Alex had a little chat with us. But as I said, we're coming to you live from our bus. And we are here with Marianne. And Marianne has travelled the whole way down from Dublin to be with us. Because she has lost her dog. Now, her dog has been lost since December uh, the 13th, I believe. 14th. 14th, I believe. And it's an absolute beautiful dog. And we have been uh, putting the word out there um, for the last few months as well. And uh, it's gone nearly, uh, what is December, January, February, March, April. Um, You must be, are you giving up hope or what? No. (laughs) Yeah, like. This dog is part of my family. This you know? is the dog, and this uh, dog travelled the whole way over from. His name is Apollo, and if you see him, uh, give him hello, Apollo. <whistles> Come over here because you're missing. He's been missing all this time, but the, Apollo came over from Brazil to Ireland. Did you have to teach him Irish when he came home? He, he speaks both languages, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> he understands and I both love hands. your. Fantastic. So, your poor dog is missing, and. Uh, you went on holidays, you brought him down to uh, Terrell's Pass, I believe. Mir- Milltown Pass. Milltown Pass. And you left it with um, friends down there. And whatever happened, the dog disappeared and has been gone ever since. What have you been doing since? You must have your head wrecked um, looking for Apollo. Yeah, uh, we we start searching since we received the news from, from the boarding kennels that uh, they called us and said, oh, Apollo is missing. Um, it was 14 of December, 9 p.m. and then we started looking for him since then. I think like we have been doing knocking doors with uh, his flyers. We have been covering many cities from different counties with laminated posters. We Paulo has all social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We post it like almost every day. Uh, we hired a, a pet detective too. Um, we so newspaper, radio, interviews, everything. Um, like I, so many stuff we have been been doing drones, uh, traps. Uh, we have wildlife cameras too. Like I don't probably I won't remember everything we have been doing. But wow. Yeah, it's um, and as well as that, you put out two thousand euros if you find the dog Mm -hmm. 2k folks that's 2000 euros that's uh, definitely three weeks work for some people and you could actually take the three weeks off and go and find the dog we've been saying that for a long long time but all our friends who are looking in here if we can ask you folks to just share our post today and maybe in some area around the Westmead area the dog could be anywhere in the world now at this stage but uh, you never know someone have probably seen the dog and says, oh, that's a lovely dog. We'll bring the dog home. Would he have got into another car? And by the way, yeah. Apollo, uh, he loves cars, you loves know? <laughs> so one um, one thing about him is that uh, if... Uh, so sometimes we, I was coming back uh, with him from the park that is super close to my house, and yeah. he, he was off lead. And there was my neighbor's cars. It was you know, with the back open and he just jumps. He loves cars because cars means to him, I'm going to somewhere super nice and fun to meet a new park or somewhere. So this could 
have happened, you know? Maybe he saw like a car open and just jump. You're very jovial and happy, but I mean, I know in your heart that poor old dog is missing and it does, it's like a, a part of the family. You um, brought the dog over how many years ago now? Be three uh, years, wouldn't it? No, uh, um, uh, Apollo is three years old, mm. but we, we arrived here in Ireland uh, two, almost two years ago. Yeah, oh. and we brought him from Brazil. And you brought him from Brazil. Now he's a red, Australian red uh, border collie. So very unusual. And I'd say he's sort of a bouncy dog. Like he jumps all over the place and he's excitable and uh, he would need a lot of running and a lot of exercise so if he was in the house locked up he wouldn't be happy I'd say this he'd oh, be barking this, non-stop you know this is one thing that um, oh, keep me keep me up every night you know yeah. because um, he needs to socialize with other dogs he's very mm. <laughs> he's a very playful dog mm. um, he needs cuddles he, he, you know he yeah. If you lock inside your house, you yes. won't be happy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was going every day, every morning with him at the park for at least one hour. And he is so well known in the park close to my house. Wow. Like um, he had so many friends there. <laughs> so if if he's locked yeah. inside somewhere's house, yeah. uh, definitely he won't be. Happy, yeah, know. and as well as that, he'd be extremely loud as well because he'd be barking non stop. This has taken over your life. How what does your husband say? I mean, he must be he must be pulling the hair out now as well because the pressure is coming on, and you're well, you're unhappy. Well, I don't mean unhappy, but you're upset because poor he's gone four months. Four months now. Yeah. So what does the husband say? Like um, he is our dog, like uh, my yeah, and yeah. my husband. He is heartbroken too. But being honest, Apollo had a special connection with me, mm. and like my my husband loves me, so he is he stopped his life too to help me to to find Apollo, you know. Like and he's all around our house, so we can't forget him. You know, if you check my passwords, my password contains his name. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not give away. It's not, that. Uh, it's not, but it's it's hard password. It's his name and okay. many other stuff, so it's okay. So his name is Apollo, and he's still out there. And uh, you've travelled down from Dublin today. Now, I mean, we could have done this over um, the internet or whatever, and gone live on our channel, but we couldn't. I mean, in a way. You says, I'll come down. And I, I didn't put that in front of you. I just says, OK, if you're coming down, that's fair enough. You came down the train and actually you walked up to where we are. And you said, I said, look, I'll collect you. And there'll be no problem. And then, no, no, I will not. You know, you said, no problem. I'll make my way up. So all you really want to do is keep an eye out. Yeah. So on your little walk up here, you, the eyes were keeping an eye out for the dog. Every, every day when I'm going to work, I'm keeping an eye out, you know, for him. Because uh, maybe someone bought him if he was stolen. Yeah. Maybe someone bought him and doesn't know we are looking for him. Exactly. Right? He's microchipped. He has the, the missing stolen flag, but uh, it, 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 he needs to be scanned. So maybe someone bought him and the person also loves him, is genuine mm. like me mm -hmm. and doesn't maybe doesn't know I'm looking for, for him. You know. Is Are they a po uh, very popular in uh, Brazil, these dogs? Um, no, he's uh, um, like collies, yes, but uh, his color, uh, his breed, right, Australian red border collie, that is, it's basically a ginger and white border collie. He is also unusual there. Yeah, I got him when he, he was a puppy. So he must have been a puppy carrying him over, was he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it was like uh, I, I adopted him when he, he was a puppy. Oh, yeah. uh, my cousin saw him and uh, he said, oh, this needs to be your dog. And I am a dog lover. Brilliant. Well, look, folks, uh, this dog is out there. It's still his, as I say, his mammy's looking for him. And if you can help us out in any way at all, we'd really, really appreciate it. Now, it's Find Apollo is the Facebook page. So go and have a look at that. And... Uh, your name, once again, is Mariana Karan, and that's her Facebook page. So you'll see a pretty lady on the front of her uh, profile, and that's uh, Marianne here. So we have, uh, we've, that's our message going out to you folks. Now, as well as that, we have our show. And uh, since you came up, you might as well help us along with our show. If she's done the 12 bongs, and uh, we'd like to thank... Uh,
uh, our good friend for introducing the show earlier on from Mullock Mead uh, Forest. And as well as that, we have birthday shout outs. Now, we got a message here from Eleanor McCabe and her daughter is Laura and she's 15 years of age. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Laura. And she's in Mead, which is that way. Happy birthday to you. And as well as that, we have Olivia Foley. Oh, no, it's Oliver Foley. I was going to call you Olivia. I beg your pardon. That's Oliver Foley. And he is Kanoor Hygiene Mullingar. Happy birthday to you. And Danny James looking in there as well. A big happy birthday to you, Danny. And as well as that, Martin Nugent from Mullingar. He's in there as well. And Ricardo, Jimmy Scalali, uh, Scalacci. And he's in Mullingar. His name is Scali. He sort of wants to be foreign. And uh, Ashleen Morgan is in Kentucky, which is that away. And happy birthday to you. And Julia Byrne, who is in Wexford. It's your birthday. Gabriel Lohan is in Selbridge. And happy birthday to you. She's from Mullingar originally. And as well as that, don't forget the Mullingar show is going to be on in three months' time on the 10th of June, I think, or July. And uh, that's on the way. Now, our Facebook page... Um Recommendation is Multifarnham GAA, and there's always something going on there. And as well as that, our food shout out competition winner is Harry's of Kinney Gad. They're up and running, and the doors are open, and we're looking forward to playing a bit of music out there as well. As well as that, our shop local pick of the day is CNS Imagery. And we would like to thank all the people who introduced the show and our special guest this week because we had Nora Sheehan and she is Shirley Valentine and she is on on Saturday here in the Arts Centre in Mullingar. So that's a world well worth checking out and going having a bit of crack on Easter Saturday. It's Good Friday today. Good Friday. It's a good day. Mm-hmm. And a good day to find the dog. Uh, introducing as well as that, introducing our show all oh, once again, uh, Seamus O'Brien um, was telling us about her, his great book as well. So thank you, Seamus, for coming on the show yesterday. And as well as that, people who introduced the show was Ethan Call, uh, Maisie and Bonnie, and uh, Cody Python is, and Millie Walsh introduced the show. Octavia uh, from Tullinally Castle, she introduced the show. And Thomas Ford introduced the show as well. Nora Sheehan introduced the show. Thank you, Nora. And she's Shirley Valentine, Saturday night. She's going to be in the Arts Centre. Dylan McCarthy, uh, thank you very much for introducing the show. And it was Mairead Lee who introduced the show. Beg your pardon, Mairead, I never wrote down properly. And lads from the bus, that's Sean Conlon who introduced the show as well. Big congratulations to Lee Boyd, who's uh, looking in there as well. And he has his second National Defence Force title this year. And this is the third title he's won. He's boxing around the place now as well as that we have some people who want to come on board as well and uh, they've disappeared in us where are they gone uh Clo, let me see uh there's a man meant to come on chat to us yeah we'll add caroline uh caroline crow yeah there she is and she wants to come on and speak to us on on in her life so we'll send a message to you caroline crow and uh where are you? There's a message coming in. Ray, Millie Purcell is waiting with his wife, Mary Purcell. Uh, here we go. Um, My, Miley Purcell. Miley. Hello, Miley. Miley, come in there. Just press the button and uh, say hello to us. All you have to do is press the button and you're up and running, Miley Purcell. Caroline Crow uh, is there as well. She's looking in. Uh, Miley, all you have to do is press the button Miley, it's just there's a little two heads down at the bottom there and you can come in now, what else, we keep busy as they say, we have a lot of information to give away and uh, the button didn't come around, not to worry, not to worry If press the button again there Miley there we go, this is the technology Miley if you're looking in there now, all you have to do is press the button, I've sent you the link you come back to me then brilliant now uh, Bevcraft Group Mullingar and as well as at Lake Kayaks Limited have uh, won fantastic competitions um, <laughs> Bevcraft. hey Miley how's it going Ray not a bother now yourself mate great job hello 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 how are we getting on great great way great way um, Carly Grove a good friend of Mary's that's right. Uh, they went to school together, through primary school, secondary school. Now, uh, Mary's been battling bone cancer and lung cancer for the last three and a half years. 
Oh my god. Um, now, as you know yourself, we all, we all grew up around the Ballandary area. The whole crew I worked 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 on the the pub with your with yourselves in the studio at the back for Joe at the time. Going back thirty odd years ago, with Frank Mulligan and all the crew. Now That's last funny. week. Last week, Mary took very ill, and the doctors gave her days. But we went to the hospital, sorted out what we could, brought her home to spend her last few days or weeks, whichever she has left, to to live out. Good man, Miley. I can't uh, see you there. Okay, I can see you there, Miley. And yeah. Mary Howard. Mary, good to know that you're looking in on us anyway. Oh, oh you have a big, a big shout out to friends there, isn't that correct? Yeah, we have a big shout out to Caroline Crow, Tracy Dinnigan, uh, all the people in Mullingar that know us that have helped shared. Caroline Crow set up a, a GoFundMe page for, for Mary's final journey and that. But we'd like to thank everyone that's shared, donated, sent messages, and would appreciate it if they could. Share the page again and uh, as far and wide as possible to help Mary along. Okay. Uh, Brilliant. Uh, well, Miley, thanks for coming in and saying hello to us. We really, really appreciate it. And to Mary, um, keep her lit, Mary. And uh, we're all thinking about you. Okay. Ray, you're, you're, thanks very much for letting us join in. And again, uh, all your watchers, followers, whatever people are looking in the show could share. Tag their own friends in the GoFundMe page. It'd be very much appreciated. Okay, Miley. I'll talk to you soon. Will do, Ray. I sent your friends a request on Facebook there, Ray. If you kept it there, we'll have a chat some of the days. That'll do. God bless. See God you, bless, Mary. Ray. Take See care. All the best. Thanks very much. So that's our friends looking in from downtown Mullingar. And uh, who else do we have? We're just going to say a quick hello to friends looking in there as well. And um, there we go. Now, uh, continue. The, uh, where we go. So that's our um, friends, uh, Mary Dowlard and Miley looking in. So um, thanks for saying hello to us, guys. And uh, great to know that you are, um, and all your friends are helping you out in this uh, rough time that's going on. Right. Uh, what else have we got for you folks? We have, um, as I said, these Mullingar businesses have done extremely well in the Small Firms Association Awards in the RDS um, the night before last. Uh, so congratulations to Lakeland Kayaks and Bevcraft Group and their Mullingar business. And once again to Dolores Keevney, who has a brand new book out at the moment. And uh, it's Huey Meets the Red Fox. Uh, what else have we got for you? We've loads of bits and pieces carrying on all week. We have uh, Karen Farrell. And uh, she got on to us there during the week and they have a GoFundMe page as well with uh, Thomas Blake, who's going to cycle from Whitehall just outside uh, Castle Pollard to, um, where would you believe it? He's going to Westport on his bike. And uh, this is all uh, a GoFundMe page, especially for the school, which is school out in Whitehall and as well as that for um, Danny Boyce's son. And he's suffering with cerebral palsy. And that's a big shout out to you, um, Adam Boyce. And uh, so that's, uh, he's going to be cycling. So hopefully we're going to get to meet uh, Thomas Blake before he heads off. And once again, Karen Farrell, thanks for sending in the information to us. Now, uh, continuing on, uh, don't forget the Ken Smullen Food Appeal, which is a huge thing here in the Midlands. And uh, a lot of people are helping Ken out with the problem, which is facing a lot of people in the Midlands, a lot of kids as well, because they're contacting him saying that they're hungry, which is unbelievable because we're a first world country. And uh, so Ken Smullen and his group are collecting dry food in Deals of Mullingar, or if you want to go to his Facebook page and find out different houses in Mullingar and Tullamore that are collecting dry food, just go and contact them and uh, see, uh, you can drop some food in or whatever you'd like to do for Ken Smullen and his food appeal. Now, the 100km River Challenge is continuing this week and they're going up and down the Inney. Um, they done a bit last week and now this weekend on Saturday and Sunday they are going to travel another bit up and down or up the canal or up the river 
in a kayak and I never done the any in a kayak but I'd say it's fairly strenuous and a bit dangerous as well so well done to all the gang that are getting involved there and the money goes towards LARC L-A-R-C-C here in Westmead now as I said the Mullingar show is on on the 10th of Jan July so the best of luck to all the gang there and in the Arts Centre uh, Shirley Valentine is on on Saturday night and don't forget the Bachelors Festival is on the way on the 29th and 36th and the 1st of May so um, a great event and we're looking forward to seeing the Bachelor Festival again here in Mullingar now the Flat Kjol is on its way as well and it's on the 31st to the 7th of August and they're running a lot of uh, events to um, create funds as well because uh, with all these things everything needs money and uh, it's very helpful and uh, a lot of people are helping out to get the Mullingar flag going as well. It seems they're just looking for money in this show. <laughs> what do we say? Uh, here we, oh, okay. We are hiring uh, from Mullingar in Mullingar. There's a job here. There's jobs here, lads. In the Park Hotel, they were hiring yesterday and maybe they're still hiring today. And ND Cleaning are looking for uh, part-time and full-time staff. Um, and check out or send your CV to Noel at ND Cleaning here in Mullingar.com. And as well as that, the church restaurant are hiring as well. Now, GAA Lottos. Yes, it's a good part because you can win some money. Yes, you can win some money on our 12 Bong show. If you go to the Facebook page of any of these GAA virtual lotto pages, you can win a lot of money. Multi Farnham have their lotto on. It's usually on a Sunday evening and you can win yourself 2,900 euros by just going to their Facebook page dropping a few pound in, picking four numbers, and no matter where you are in the world, whether you're in Brazil or downtown Mullingar, you can win this money. So to all our friends who are looking in, all I have to do is go to the Facebook page and win the money. That's all you have to do. It's simple as that. Same thing in the Downs GAA jackpot lotto draw. They're giving away, uh, oh yeah, that's 2,900. But in the multi one, it's 2,900. No, 800, beg your pardon. Klukin GAA jackpot lotto draw is 13,000. Imagine winning that on Easter. And the Rugby Club Lotto Jackpot is 2,700. That's a huge one. And last night, Shandona had their GAA Jackpot Lotto draw. We have no results yet, but it was 4,400. So that could all be yours. Now, we are coming to you as, uh, from the back of the bus. This is Friday. We'd like to thank all our friends who are on board the bus this week. We're quite a busy, busy week. And we'd like to thank Caroline Crow for um, getting in contact with us and I uh, hope we can uh, do some good for Mary Dowler and uh, that's Mary Dowler and Miley who were on with us a few minutes ago and as well as that too um, who introduced our show oh yes who got in contact with us we had Mary Whelan Gavin and she contacted us about our missing dog here today so once again folks I'm going to have a quick look in the show's running very long um, but that's the way it goes. Some days it's quick and some days it's long. So anyway, it's Friday. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look in and say hello. Frank Gillespie is looking in from Boston. Hello to you, Frank. Looking forward to seeing you, Mullingar. And you know what? We'll have a bit of crack when you come home. Sean Breen is on board from uh, Melbourne. And I did meet your sister, Una, at our show last week. And what a lady she is. Liz Farr is looking in there as well from Dublin. Hello, Ray. Hope you're having a great day. She writes to us. And Gary Dolan writes to us saying, Hi, Ray and crew from the land down under. Living in the land down under. Hi, Gary. Great to see you that you're looking in. And thanks for writing to us. Margaret Russell is on board and she's looking in from downtown Mullingar. And she sent me an Easter egg. Thank you very much. Karina Ball is looking in the whole way from holland and using the hashtag she wrote to us as well now more people have written to us uh, valentina Popescu is looking in and she writes to us from bucharest saying have a good friday it is a good friday believe it or not and katrin hickey good afternoon ray uh, marianne ah uh, uh, oh that's katrin hickey a friend of yours and she says marianne ah he is fabulous hope he is found don't give up. That's Catherine Hickey. Who's, you know Catherine Hickey? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> but thank you so much for your message. Brilliant, brilliant. And uh, see, folks, keep an eye out for the... Where's our picture again? Let's see our picture for our dog. There he is. He's an absolute beauty. And uh, he's sort of... Um, 
He's a small little dog, uh, but he has this white down the middle of him. And I'd say he's very chirpy as well. So keep an eye out for our good dog called Apollo. Marina, uh, Marion, uh, Mary Therese looking in. Hi to all on board. Uh, fabulous Easter on board and Ray and your family. Thank you very much for that. And Colette uh, Demet is looking in from France. And uh, Margaret Russell says she shared our post. Valentina sent another message from Bucharest. Catherine Hickey, people often say go back to where he was lost from. Thanks, Catherine. Appreciate that. Uh, we might actually drive out there now. Colette Demetes looking in from France. Hello to you. And who else do we have? Uh, hi to all. Don't eat too much chocolate. Ha, ha, ha. And enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> and Mariam May says, Happy Easter from Ballyman. Uh, Lizzie Farrell says, uh, I really do hope that you get your dog. Fair play to you, Lizzie. Thank you, Lizzie. Um, Catherine says, Happy Easter from Clonmel Tipperary. Oh, be God. I uh, hope the dog isn't down that far. Uh, Mary Purcell says, Ray Caroline Crow asked me to ask you about an interview about my wife, Mary. Uh, Frank Gillespie um, sent me a message there. We'll chat to you in a while, Frank. Um, messages are coming in on all platforms here. Now, I think, oh, Martina, Marty O'Connor and all you love can you play this poem by tracy please kindest regards okay um i'll have a look at that marty i don't think i can open it up on the platform but if anyone's looking in they can open it up as well brilliant thanks for sending that in and appreciate that marty uh, marty is in australia i think and originally from mullingar uh derek and karen are on board could you uh, look for him Wish I could help look for him, but uh, we're over the water and they're in Wales. So um, thank you very much, uh, Derek and Karen, for your good wishes. And Ken is looking in from downtown Mullingar. Derek and Karen are wishing us well once again. Thank you. Mary Cross is looking in from Somerset. Hello, Mary. And Paul Scally is there in Birmingham. Good afternoon to you. Caroline Crow says, uh, waiting, a wife, person. Yeah. Thanks, Caroline. We got that sorted and uh, appreciate for putting us in and inviting them on the show. And Anne Joyce says, Happy Easter. And she says, Don't forget my Easter egg. <laughs> Fair play to you, Anne. And let me see who else. Um, Anne Rogers, good afternoon. Uh, Edward O'Brien is there. Hello, Edward. How are you? Paul Kieran is watching in. Hello, Paul. And I think we've gone through. I think we've met everyone and said hello to everyone on the platform. And everyone is chatting to each other now. Uh, Debbie is there as well. Hi, Debbie. And she's looking in from Harry's Akinney Cad. Thanks, Ray. Music at six in Harry's Saturday night. Well done, Debbie. And she's from The Bridge. Caroline Crow. And she says, thank you. You're a star. You're very welcome. Uh, who else do we have? I think everyone is mainly looking in. Frank Gillespie, God bless Mary and sending prayers. Fair play to you. Uh, so once again, folks, for myself and Marianne, thanks for looking in. If you see her dog anywhere, um, just uh, call him and take a picture of him and send it to us here or send it to Apollo. Is it find Apollo? Find Apollo. Oops, a daisy. I'm going to kick in the camera. <laughs> right, folks. God bless. Bye for now. Hold on. Just check. Someone else is coming in there. Debbie is looking in from, we'll give her a shout when she asks. This is Debbie who's after uh, opening up the um, hotel in Kinnegad, uh, Harry's Kinnegad. She's looking after the pub and the food. And we're giving you a chance to chat to us here, Debbie, if you are available on this Good Friday. She's busy. She must be cooking the dinner. Um, Joey Crow. Right. I think we've contacted everyone. So goodbye for now. And uh, thanks for looking in, folks. And feel free to share this post because we need to find Show us that picture of that fantastic dog. Apollo, bye for now.